our chef Glenn right. Brown right. talking, as I hello, mentioned, hello. the Culinary Crossroads Spring Dinner Series. That's a mouthful, and I'm so yes. glad because stuffing in our mouths something so delicious and this morning. Today. Yes. So we'll be tasting the sauce there, Jay. But again, Larry Dickerson, who puts this all together, uh, you know, he really brings together what we say from the farm to the table. Yeah. So he's there with the with the farmer, and then he's there with the chefs and kind of just bringing us all together and just kind of seeing what the bounty of Indiana is all about. Yeah, love that. And that's so important. That we is talk incredible. about that quite a bit, the farm oh, to table yeah, notion. knowing that, it gives you such a deeper appreciation for food, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, one of my first, um, I guess, acclimations to that was when I did my own herb garden. And I oh, promote with students at this time of year, get you, a, get you whatever your favorite herb is, and let's just grow it. And then one morning, pick it first thing, and then you can see all the flavors in a beautiful bouquet of it. Yeah. And then if you get deeper into it, we can even talk about the medicinal aspects of it. And then mm -hmm. past that, you know, we've got just wellness mm -hmm. and all of that and where food should be. And so, like, what we're preparing today is really, uh, um, I would say, promoting that clean food. So basically all we have is a little crushed tomatoes. Look at those we beautiful have tomatoes. We have a little bit of um, what I call half-dried tomatoes where you take fresh tomatoes oh, and then you just okay. put them in a dehydrator with a little salt and plate pepper just to intensify their flavors. And so what I want to do is just warm this up a little bit so those flavors start to just wake up. And then what we will do is just use this over the top of fresh seafood and different things. And so this is meant to be what I consider as like a, a, room, a room temperature type sauce. And then I like to play with some great oil. So we got a little bit of olive oil that I like to add into that. And then on top of that, I like to have a nice expeller press avocado oil. Ooh. So again, you get a couple of different flavors in there, and it just jumps out at you. And then from there, we always with seafood and different items, we want to add a little bit of acid. So the acid that we're going to add into there is just a little bit of fresh lemon. Huh. And then, All of your ingredients are curated, so like I even yeah. love how those lemons are sliced. Yes, so those are little supremes. That's what you call like attention to detail. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then we'll just finish that just with a little bit of champagne vinegar. So again, okay. just another level and flavor of acid bringing in there and then bringing all good. those flavors together. And then you can finish it with a little bit of capers, a little bit of roasted peppers in that. But again, I like to just go with that sauce and then on top of some great seafood now and is seared this, wonderful. Is this an example of something that people can get at the Culinary Crossroads Spring Dinner Series? Yes, this is what I will be preparing that evening and it will be served on a pave of, of uh, fresh salmon. And then I'll have a little bit of wilted spinach to go along with it to bring in a little bit of earthiness in oh, there. Yeah. And this is also for a good cause. Yes, yeah. so it's uh, for a scholarship fund that's uh, for Chef Greg Hardesty, which was one of the, yeah. I would say, is probably one of the greatest leaders that came out of Indianapolis in the culinary yeah. field. And he was uh, just wonderful to get to know and to work with from time to time. And I even brought him in, or the school brought him in, and he talked to some of our students, mm -hmm. so he always gave back to the culinary industry. And he here in Indianapolis. That's in incredible. That's really yeah. wonderful. She was beloved in our city. Yeah. And it looks like culinary talent, it says, from around the town. So quite a few different chefs showing off their Correct. skills. Correct, yeah. So what Larry has done is brought all of us together. And just like he has all the different farmers, he has different chefs that were coming together. And so I'll be preparing the uh, the, fr the fish course of the meal. Mm -hmm. And then we have another chef that will be taking care of the entree. And then I'll be doing this uh, mushroom beignet Ooh, with smoked goose good. for the appetizer, mm -hmm. which is a, a collaboration with Smoking Goose also here in town. So again, all of that's coming together to just make for a wonderful evening of food and wine. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh. Coming up, you're making another dish for us, correct? Yes, what I'll be making is our razor pork mac and cheese, which is one of our oh, most hello. popular just... appetizers at the restaurant and so forth. So we take this great pork belly and yeah. this traditional, uh, somewhat traditional Alfredo sauce, and then we put a little Italian elements into it. So it's my push where I say I push a a, uh, concept in food where it's new urban and new rural so you bring the best of both worlds together and then it's simple great food. 
See, it's just oh, so eloquent. that's incredible. I could listen to his description of food <laughs> forever. It really is. It's I don't know. It take a little taste test, but I know yeah. it's got to do its thing. And I'm no, no, no. It Actually, it's, okay. it's here. Oh, yeah, it's we're gonna have a little something here. I don't okay, know. Right. we shall taste test as yes. we toss to uh, yeah. Mr. George so Mallet. The, but we are getting a little fancy. Okay, just a little here. something here. A little yeah. fancy. So you have the tomatoes. You have. Oh, your that's so delicious. In the kitchen. Oh, I love that. And again, great Good with stuff. seafood. And it's again, like spring in a bite. Yeah. Yes. I love that. More coming up mm -hmm. here in just a little bit. In the meantime, George, my friend, on over to you.